A little good. Our third property is a power of a product property. And to differentiate between a power of a product and a power of a power, power of a power is these two, I decided to put the power of the product third so you can see the difference. Now, when you see two exponents next to each other and there's one base, you multiply it. X to the sixth. This one is two times three, which is six. It's three to the sixth, which is uh, three times three is nine, 27, 81, two, 729. You'd actually circle the 729. And it, if your teacher says uh, simplify, you know, that's pretty much what it means. This one's a little different though. The quantity of 3x squared to the third, what does that equal? Now instead of one uh, specific term in the parentheses, you have uh, two different uh, powers in the parentheses that you got to worry about. Now, what's the exponent on top of the 3 is usually what I ask my students. And my students say, it's, it's 2. It's so easy to see, it's right there. And the answer is, unfortunately, no, it's not 2. The 2 is on top of the x. What's the exponent on top of the 3 if you don't see it? It's a 1. And that's probably the best way to start and figure this problem out. Now, you use the same steps to figure out this problem, but it's, it's, you kind of think about it like distributing, but not really. Uh, I'll write it out so it makes sense afterwards, but here's how I would do it. It's 3 to the 1 times 3 is 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. So it's 3 to the 3rd, x to the 6th. 3 to the 3rd is not 9, it's 27. And a lot of students still put that down, though. x to the 6th. 27 x to the 6th is the answer. Uh, if you want the reason why that works, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you why uh, it comes out to why it does. I can write this out 3x squared 3 times. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would recommend learning the uh, properties because it is actually shorter. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. x squared times x squared times x squared is x to the sixth. Same answer, different approach. I would prefer that students learn to do it this way because it's much quicker for them later on and they can do many more problems and not feel so flustered. Now, this is a very interesting power of a power property. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can do what's in the parentheses first, which is what you're supposed to do. But uh, it's always given as a power of power property. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 squared is 36. Finito. Here's the other way you could do it. I don't necessarily recommend it. But you can combine these. You can't combine 3x squared. It's just 3x squared. But 2 times 3, you can make 6. Uh, you could also do it this way. Put a 1 on top of the 2. Put a 1 on top of the 3. That's 2 to the 2nd times 3 to the 2nd. 2 to the second is 4 times 9, 36. Same exact answer. Now, you've seen this problem before, actually. Uh, maybe not on my lessons, but definitely in your book, definitely when your teacher shows you. Uh, but it's, you look at this problem, and you're like, I can't do this. But you did this problem in Chapter 2 of an algebra book. Now you're looking at it later on. It's still the same problem. It's just a different approach I'm trying to figure it out. These two are very interesting. Uh, what's the exponent on top of the negative 3 even though you don't see it? It's a 1. And what's the exponent on top of the x even though you don't see it? It's a 1. Now, here's my advice. It's negative 3 to the second, but I have a lot of students who like using calculators, and when they substitute this in, they get negative 9. It's not. It's quantity of negative 3 to the second, and then x to the second doesn't matter. It's just x to the second. When you're working with negative numbers, make sure you realize if it's in a parenthesis or outside of a parenthesis. If you don't, you might get the answer wrong. So negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9. I got x squared. So that answer is 9x squared. Uh, this one's different, though. Uh, the exponent on top of this 3, it's not a negative 3, it's just a 3 because the negative is outside, is a 1. The exponent on top of the x is a 1. That's 3 to the second, x to the second. That's 9x squared. But wait, there was a negative in front of the parentheses that i got to take care of on the last step. Negative 9x squared. Now we've done three types of properties, and I want to go ahead and put up a problem here that incorporates those three properties that we've worked with so far. We'll work with division and zero property next. Uh, order, we'll see, depending on what I think is the best. But we're going to go ahead and do this one. 
What's the exponent on top of the 3? This reads quantity 3x cubed to the power of 4 times x to the 7. The exponent on top of this 3 is not this 3. That belongs to the x. Since there is no exponent, you put a 1. Now you're going to multiply these because it's a power of power. That's 3, 1 times 4 is 4, x to the 12, and then you got times x to the 7th left over. 3 to the 4th is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 81. x to the 12th times x to the 7th. Now, you've got two bases and there's a multiplication symbol in between, so maybe you forgot what to do. You add these exponents. x to the 19th. So that's a brief overview on properties, and we kind of used all three of them at the same time, and you can use them interchangeably. But my best advice, if you really want to make these problems easier, even though you might not necessarily think it's easy at first, is to learn the properties. Don't just always write them out. Once you have a good grasp of the properties, you're fine. And I'll be honest, I mean, there were times, like I was in my much more advanced math classes, and I had to sit there and I had to write this out three times just to make sure that I was doing the properties right. I'm like, oh, okay, I remember the properties now. So it, even on uh, people who study math a lot, uh, you can sometimes forget and you kind of have to prove it to yourself before you do it. But now I just know them by heart because I've been teaching it for so long. So. That said, uh, have a great day for now. Goodbye.